what my mom told me, she was also an athlete during her time and I loved athletics and we started uh, maybe like when I was in primary school. We used to have like zonal competitions where we, they select us and we go to a bigger city like Aba because I'm from Maria State Aba. So from my village, we, they take us to the city where we, we compete and I, I always won all my mates. We went for the a festival in Benue, I think 96. So I ran for Abia State in the, in the 100 meters hurdles. So that's how I was selected for national camp for the first time. Though it's an experience I, I really don't like talking about because it makes me go emotional and it was really difficult. It was like maybe one week before, just a whole week I was not able to train, you no know, sleepless nights, lots of you know distractions and those things I think they really affected my performance but the good news is that at the end of it because I didn't meet people who run so fast like they are running now, maybe I wouldn't have won anything. So I think I was just lucky and it was God's grace. I remember the major championship I won for Spain was the, the European Championships. I won the gold medal. The world in that I was able to win two world uh, silver medals because mm. I've never won any world uh, gold medal apart from the World Cup. I've always been silver medalist. If you go to maybe some remote villages in Nigeria, you, you can see people who are, are yet to be discovered. I believe that there are still other people who who are even better than me. I believe so because you know Nigeria we are, we have a lot of talented athletes. Some of us know we also in Kenya. We see I opportunity to ayudar a uh, ser una entrenadora o lo que me manden. Yo siempre estoy disponible. Muchas gracias. Sin ningún problema. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. De nada.